Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's tutorial, we are going to install Paris OS dual boot with Windows 10. And first of all, let's navigate to ParisLinux.org to download the ISO installation file. Click download and then select the version that you want. And in this case, I will select the Paris security version with Mate. Let's click download and wait for a while. So the file is 4 gigabytes and it will take some time, depends on your speed. Now the file is ready and I will use Rufus application to burn the ISO file to my USB right. And it's very easy, you just select the ISO file, plug in your USB right and then uh, hit start. Before you hit start, you can take a look on the partition stream and you can select either MBR or GPT. But if you are running an old computer with the old BIOS, then you can select MBR for a higher compatibility. And there will be some message uh, check for new version or mixing file. You can just click yes and it will just proceed to out download the file and then, yeah burn the ISO The USB is ready for the installation and let me show you how the partitions look like in Windows Computer Management. All right, so as you can see we have a C right which is uh, where we install the Windows 10 and we have a 500, I'm sorry, we have a 358 gigabyte of unallocated space. And if you don't have any free space then we can try to get some free space. So as you can see, we have the C right and it is having uh, like 28 gigabyte of free space. So I will sync the C right to get some free space and let's just right click on it, click sync. And it will do some, some kind of analysis in the background and you can just enter the amount of space you want to sync. So I will uh, take around 20 gigabyte of space for the installation and I will just put in the value and click sync. Once the command is completed, you will have a new unallocated space and I will be installing Paris OS on this. So we all done and let's just boot up the computer, plug in the USB right and boot from it. So here we are at the Parrot OS installation screen and I will select install and then install with GTK GUI. Just ignore whatever is showing on the screen because we don't need to understand all of them. Just check our GUI. Right, select a language, of course English, or you can select the language that you want and click continue and select your region and your key map. Alright, so if you encounter this error message during the installation, you can remove your USB right and then connect it back and then press continue and the installation will go. And the installation will go without problem.
Let's enter the root password and click continue to proceed. And here we are at the full name of the new users. It will be my channel Vantage Corner and then you can specify a username. And we will select VanSD for example. And the password for the new users. So here we are at the disk partition and I will select manual. I will create my first partition which is the swath area and I will it will be 4 GB because I have 4 GB of RAM so my swap area will be 4 GB as well and you can check out the recommended swap space on the Google. And the next partition we are going to create is the home partition. Just double click on it, create new partition. Use as ext for journalist file system. And then when you done, click done setting of the partition. So now we are having two partition. One is the swap and the other one is the home partition. And we are all good. So let's just scroll down to the bottom of the page. And then click finish partitioning and right chain to this. The system is showing a summary of the changes we are going to make to the hard drive. And if you are all set, click yes and continue. Now you can make a cup of coffee or order a pizza while waiting for the installation because it will take some time maybe 5 minutes if you are running a HHD or an NVMe right or if you are using the hard drive like me it will take like half an hour so I will be speed up the process and we will move to the next step
the installation had found that there were window installed on my hard drive and this is all correct so I will click yes to let it install the bootloader record on my hard drive and now please check your hard drive and select it carefully so there are two rights one is my HDD and the other one with a USB right so for sure I will select the HDD in order to install the root bootloader and that's all it will take some time to finishing the installation clearing some of the file and after that you will have a fully working Paris OS and guys, this is Paris OS 4.1 uh, which was downloaded from the Paris Linux ORG website on August 30 and I believe that the installation process for the upcoming version will be the same with this video so you are safe to follow this tutorial on the new version or the new release and that's all about the video tutorial so if you have any questions or any uh, idea feel free to leave it in the comment section and I will try to go through all of it and assist you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching and this is fan touch corner have a nice day